Hi everybody, um, I just wanted to do kind of a quick little video here. There seems to be a little bit of confusion about the hierarchy of pages to categories to posts, so I want to try to clarify that for you. Um, so, without further ado, I'm going to introduce the world's most hideous mind map. And please don't laugh your ass off. I know you'll want to, because when I look at what I'm about to show you, I want to laugh. It's totally pathetic looking, but hopefully it can convey the idea. And yeah, uh, I do realize that probably any uh, respectable kindergarten student could do a lot better job graphically. What can I say? I am not a graphics person. Okay, so now that I've seared your retinas with the horror of this page, uh, this is what we're looking at. Um, it's a bit like a pyramid structure. We're going to have a home page, and every and the home page is going to link back to the pages that contain the uh, keywords that we're trying to rank for. And in turn, those pages will also get linked to via a category named the same thing as the keywords we're trying to rank for. And then we're going to have two posts going into each of those categories. So you can see how the uh, link juice funnels up. The uh, pages is getting linked to via the posts, the categories, and the home page. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about the home page. Um, the home page is going to link out to all of our pages via a page widget in the sidebar. Um, the page widget will automatically be set to show all pages, including like your contact page, your uh, privacy policy, all of that. Um, I will show you in an upcoming video how to uh, get rid of those uh, certain pages so they don't show up there. Um, for our home page we want to show as much content as possible. So in the settings you can go under the reading setting and uh, there's you can select either to display a static page or uh, the front page to display your most recent post. Select the most recent post and then have it show at least 10 posts. Um, there's been a few people do some testing and if the more content on that home page the better. So if you set uh, in your settings to show at least 10 posts, you're going to have at least 3,000 words of content on that home page right off the bat. Um, we will put our contact, privacy policy, terms of service, about pages, if you're using an about page, will all be placed in the footer. And if your theme doesn't do that automatically, I'll show you a little bit of fancy HTML code to do that for you. Okay, let's talk a little bit about pages. Again, the title of our page will <coughs> excuse me, contain the keyword phrase we're trying to rank for. Uh, please note it doesn't have to be exactly the same as the keyword phrase we're going to rank for, want to rank for. So say we want to rank for uh, the keyword phrase blue widgets. So our title could be um, best blue widgets or uh, where to find blue widgets, something like that. It doesn't have to be exactly the same keyword phrase, but it should contain that keyword phrase. Our content should be uh, 800 to 1300 words in length. I like to get that keyword phrase in the first and last paragraphs for sure. If you can get it in the first sentence of the first paragraph, that's Excellent, if you can do that. Um, keep your keyword density at 1% to 2% at most. An easy check for keyword density, um, once every 100 words you would put in uh, the keyword. You don't want to make it so it's uh, really nasty for the reader. Uh, sometimes you'll see a keyword phrase just pumped in there so many times it just gets annoying to read and you just want to click away. Uh, if you can, it's always advantageous to work in some LSI keywords, um, and I talked about that in a prior post. You can easily find them a couple of different ways. If you type your keyword phrase into uh, Google search, um, they will probably display some LSI keywords at the very bottom of the page that are related to that uh, phrase that you typed in. And also, if... Uh, your browser supports Google Instant, which annoys the hell out of me a lot of times, but anyway, it will also um, show some LSI keywords um, that drop down. 
Our pages for good SEO should show a couple of images and with the alt tags filled out and a related video which you can just take off YouTube and embed. I just would try to find some that aren't too commercial and have a whole lot of links back to another site. Okay, categories. We're going to name our category the same as the keyword we're trying to rank for. And all of our posts will be organized under that category. Uh, you can add categories to your site in two ways. Um, you can open up in your dashboard, you'll see the uh, post tab on the left. Go ahead and open that and you will see a space for categories. Um, go ahead and add in your category name. Um, the slug will, will be like a, the version that the, the search engines will show. So let's say if your category was blue widgets, for the slug you would type in blue dash widgets. So put those dashes between all of the words in your keyword phrase. Certain themes will show a category description. Um, I don't really have a way of telling you which themes will and which themes won't. I would just kind of experiment and see if yours does. If it does, then it's obviously worth filling that out. Posts. Um, the posts are going to give a little bit more uh, juice to the pages. Um, basically, when uh, the search engines see uh, anchor text uh, going back to something, they, they take note of that. It make, means it's a lot more relevant. So for our pages, we're going to have at least two posts with related keywords um, linking back to those pages, and we're going to use anchor text. And the anchor text will contain the keywords that you want to rank for. So each page should have at least two related posts. If you want to do more, that is fantastic. Um, as I mentioned before, these will be in the category, named the same as the keywords. Post length, uh, you want to make it 300 words plus. The longer, the better, but don't make it any shorter than 300 keywords. And if you can get in an image with some alt tags and put a video on there, that's great too. Um, I hope that's cleared that up a little bit for everybody. Um, like I say, it's basically kind of like a funnel. Um, posts at the bottom, leading into categories, leading into pages, leading to the home page. The pages are going to get extra strength from being linked to both by the home page. They're going to get strength from the anchor text on the post, and they are going to get strength from the categories. So we kind of have our initial site building laid out now. The only thing left is now to get busy and get writing that content. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I apologize again for hurting your eyes with my hideous graphics. Have a great day, everyone.